And I've known Burak for a long time, um, before Dinsaw came about, uh, the, the system. Um, I used him on, on a few engineering projects on my own development uh, sites. And then one day I, I was in his uh, office and he said, what do you think of this? And he was showing me the system. I looked at it and I thought to myself, without offending him and telling him, um, I thought, this guy is delusional. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, and then a few years later, uh, it's out of the market and, and it's one of the best systems out there. FormScaf is a uh, formwork and scaffolding contracting business and today on probably 90% of our projects, uh, Deansel's there. It's sort of in lieu of um, your formwork verticals. And when we started using it, I think more than anything we did a job in Bondi, Bondi Beach. Um, we did the whole structure out of Deansel and look, the boys loved it. Dinsel is sort of a one component, it's a polymer material. It's lighter than any other product where, you know, one guy can carry the panel, where the others you need minimum two. Um, so you need crane time as well. With the Dinsel, it's probably, you know, 25% of the time um, if you use that system. It's just more convenient and cleaner, neater um, and, and a lot quicker and I thought it would be ideal for this house, being the design that it's in as well. It's a sort of um, awkward design. I didn't want to do, um, you know, your general uh, brickwork masonry, you know, and, and I wanted to do one skin, which this caters for it. We designed it with uh, Dinsel and Associates and the extension part and the first floor was all Dinsel. So we used um, downstairs the 200 mil Dinsel, upstairs on the perimeter we used 150 and all the internals were uh, the 100 mil. Where well, you've got adjoining buildings and you can't get it watertight and what have you, Dinsel, it's, it's the way to go. It's been up several months now and there's not one water seepage, not one water leak. It's, you know, it's a reinforced concrete wall at the end of the day, so it's pretty solid. On this particular project, we, we cladded it with bluestone, um, uh, mechanically fixed all the way through. We had a cavity of 30 to 40 mil. And your standard masonry wall is 270. So we've, we've gained on the lower level, the ground floor, that's 70 mil on the inside, on both sides. Um, and on the upper level, we, you know, you gain from your 270 to 150. So it makes a big difference. You speak to a lot of people in the, in the construction, they will never do tiling on the dinsel or render on the internals or, um, and straight fix jibrock. I did that. At the end of the day, if you're going to use a channel and clad it and jibrock and what have you, you're going to lose 50 to 75 mil of your wall. Well, here it was just straight, straight glue or fix with the jibrock or tiles on, on the on the dinsel wall system. We use the right primer, the right adhesive, and so far to date, not one movement, nothing. It's still there, so it worked out well. There's a lot of applications that eventually will, you know. Where you can use Dinsel, and a lot of people become aware of it or start using it.